Hello, and welcome back to The Long Dark, episode 27. When I left off, we had just shed a bunch of weight um, in time for the blizzard to pretty much give us a good reason why we're glad we stayed inside instead of going out to explore. So I'm not sure how much daylight I have left, but I am still pretty tired, so that's not a problem. What I'm probably going to do is melt some water. Yeah. So we'll get a fire going. And, uh, or we'll melt some snow. Melt some water. Ha 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 ha. Or we'll melt some snow into water. Boil it. Get our uh, water reserves up a little bit. And then probably get ready to trek out. I would like to explore um, back in the direction of the dam. And even to see what's on the other side of the dam. Feel like with our fish we have enough food really to get going. I could even bring an extra um, MRE or I mean heck I don't know I could I could stop by and fish again. I have a lot of tackle. I'm tempted to do that. So let's go three and a half liters. Let's make sure we have an extra amount. We can afford the weight. But we're going to need another log on a fire. So if we boil all of it, yeah, it's going to, let's see, if it takes less than an hour. Yeah, okay, so I probably wasted that log. doesn't take that long to boil water. Well, we can start by drinking some of that. And then we can eat. No, we're pretty full. I don't necessarily want to leave in the night. This is just... Wasted time here during the day. What can we do? Maybe there are some items we can make. Aha! Yes! We will make some uh, better bandages. So one of the things you can do with this old man's beard lichen is if you have bandages, and of which we have yep, plenty, and I believe we have enough lichen to do this, yep, four times, we can make uh, a dressing... An old man's beard wound dressing. A dressing utilizing old man's beard lichen. Apply to wounds to help prevent infection. So this is good. This should make it to where we don't need antiseptic. I'm guessing. I'm, that's, that's a guess. I could be mistaken. But if I remember from the last time I was attacked by a wolf, that's, that's what it was. It had an extra option. Similarly to how um, this has an extra option to make whatever that other cup of something is that I don't have. So now I have four old man's beard wound dressings, which is excellent. The lamp I don't need, and there's two down here already. Extra storm lamps. Two hours of daylight left. <laughs> and I've already got one up here as well. Go figure. Well, I think what we're going to do with the little bit of time we have remaining is we're going to go get some firewood. Because it's quick and easy and not really a waste. Um, I have deer hide already stored it's just more to carry. Feeling a little peckish. I think we should take care of that. Have some of this lake whitefish cooked, mind you. And we'll drink some water. Very good, very good. Wonder if I should store the antiseptics now that I have... Hmm. I don't even know if there's room left in here. No, there sure isn't. Man. Yeah, antiseptic is heavy, actually. Smarts a bit. Yeah, hold, just hold on, hold on real, real quick there, buddy. 
I don't know if we want to put the antiseptic with the food. But then again, beggars can't really be choosers. So we'll put the antiseptic with down here, I guess. <laughs> okay, that's fine. We'll separate the fish and the antiseptic. Look at that. The wind stopped with one hour of daylight remaining. I guess I could just go up and get a good night's sleep. It's one hour. So it's going to take me at least 45 minutes to break it to break the firewood down. Yeah, it's probably not going to be worth our time. I'm second thinking, I'm second guessing this decision. Oof, look at this sunset. Well, then let's uh, let's go get our sleep on. We'll get our ankle back in good shape. No reason to try to be daring. I mean, I think the the place where the firewood spawns is actually really close by, but it would take at least 45 minutes to harvest it. I don't like you sitting here, actually. Just a pry bar sitting in front of the bed. It looks nefarious. All right. Um, let's try 11 hours or fully rested. Whatever comes first. Surprise me, game. Let's see. Dealer's Choice says two hours of darkness left, but fully rested. That's kind of burdensome. All right, well, here we'll go back down. If I can find my way. Yep, that was it. Goodness. Okay. Let's go ahead and start a fire before we leave. It's always good to start a fire. Um, just for the experience, really. One cedar log really is nothing. The match, I guess. But I've got quite a few of them. And a fire striker. And I'm hoping to find even more goodies. So I'm not too worried about that. Mostly I wanted the fire um, just so that I had light to do stuff. To see if there's an item I can break down or something I can repair. Turned out pretty well. One hour of darkness left. Let's see. The hunting knife's in okay shape. Let's sharpen this hatchet. Yeah, we'll sharpen the hatchet a little bit. And we'll sharpen the knife a little bit. Keep them in good order. Get the sharpening skill up. Uh, so it takes 10 minutes, so we'll do it one more time. So what's that up to? 84%? That's good. And then the knife. The knife is 15 minutes. Mm. I don't know if we're going to have the light for that. Nope. Not at our current burn rate, which that's fine. Less than an hour of darkness left. Where do we stand? Let's grab... Um, one, two fish. Another MRE. Couple sodas. And then what we'll do... Oh, uh, we only have three minutes left. That's fine. That's fine. Um, what we'll do is we'll take one cedar firewood. No, we'll take two. No, that's... What am I doing? Rookie mistake. So we're only going to take one cedar firewood and one fir firewood. The book I'm going to leave. I don't... Well... Let's just check something real quick. So what is it to start? Yeah, 100% chance to start a fire with matches and a book. Okay, so we are going to take the book. That puts us up to 25.8. Well, we're going to eat. So we can get 1.3 right out of the way now. And we're going to drink. 24.3. I think that's good. Uh... Some of that is food, and then some of that is, a good bit of that is water, because I'm over three uh, liters of water. 
So we'll see. I think it's manageable. The, the only thing extra that I really took was I took an extra MRE. But I think that's just prudent. I don't, I don't want to be stuck in a situation where I can't find food. I don't know what I'm going to find. And I don't want to take anything for granted at this point in the game. I need to be conservative. Alright, so it feels like minus five, so it's, it's cold. It's definitely cold. I don't see any wolves. Not yet. I'm hoping... I was hoping to slip by them if they were kind of more on the right side, but I don't... I don't see them, and it's got me nervous. I wonder if I should spend a little bit of time here fishing. I think I'm going to do that. Or if I should just go... Just take the money and run and just go. Mm. No, I want to fish. I want to get some more fish. So I have food later that I can cook if I need to. Oh, that's right. It's a committed thing. I have to break... Uh. Whoa. What a sunrise. Wow. I don't think we normally are out here for the sunrise. But there's the wolves. Okay, we're going. We're just going to cut far around to this end. We'll just leave them be. We're not going to worry about the fishing right now because we're going to go through Bunny Valley. And we'll see. Oh, nope. He turned in my direction. I just want you to ignore me, please. I wonder if I start running if it'll get their attention. I think I bet it will. I don't want to run. I just don't want to loiter. Okay, good. I think we're in the clear now. I don't hear him barking or snarling at me. I think we'll be okay. Okay, so we're we're heading pretty much north now. This uh this little creek or river off the lake here parallels the railroad tracks and heads north here for a bit. South. No no no, there's no way. If this is south. Hmm. That's interesting. If this is south, then that means that would have to be because it would be it would be north the opposite direction, then east, then south, then west. But the sun is clearly rising in that direction. I don't know. How are my snares? Oh, I was going to say, how did none of my snares trigger? What is going on here? So one of them did. Two of them did. Okay, that's good. That is good. Fully frozen? Yeah, of course it is. Well, we're going to get the meat. And then we're going to get the guts. And then that's going to be that. Pretty much. And then we'll just put this back down. And come over here and do the same thing. Whoa, the wind shifted. Temperature dropped kind of quick there. Oh my, it's overcast. Okay. Let's, um, 11 minutes is no big deal. We'll spend 11 minutes getting the meat. And then it's only uh, 9 minutes for the guts. We're going to do that. We're chilled now, though. We've got to chill. All right, now we're just straight up cold. So we can't stay out in this, not indefinitely. We need to continue, and so continue we shall. I'm not necessarily gonna follow the creek. I would like to try and uh, stay down here, 
get a block from the wind here momentarily, see if that helps. Okay, so that, that helps a little bit. Minus three. Still pretty cold. Ooh, yep. It's a cold day. Okay. It's fine. We need to stop and uh, eat and drink here soon anyways. A deer. Deer kill could mean wolves. Nope. I found this before. Pretty sure I found this before. Nope. This deer has meat and guts on him. Well, we're going to spend the time getting those. Yep. 18 minutes. That's That's worth it. Okay, we're pretty cold now. This is an interesting little basin, but I feel like I've been here before. I'm not sure why I wouldn't have... Oh, hello. Oh, rose hips. Yes. I'm not sure what you're good for, but I'll take you. That's wonderful. Some firewood. Oh, some more rose hips. I must not have found this place before. Well, this is nice. Hmm. I'll have to do some investigation, see if I can figure out what these are for. All right, this wind is cutting through us pretty good here. I don't see any predators. Oh, we do have some stuff up here. I haven't been here at all. Looks like a what, empty soda. Oh, no, I've been here. This is empty. This is all garbage. Well, let's um, get in the feeling we should make a fire. So let's go ahead and uh, cut this guy up here. Fur limb. Yeah, we'll do that. Oh, wait. It warmed up. Oh, the wind just stopped. And it warmed I'm up. Sure I can carry, but... Well, that's fine then. Oh, you don't have to worry about carrying anything. We'll cook this stuff in the fire later. Oh, that rabbit's going to have to be cooked real soon. Okay, maybe, you know what? We will make a fire. We just gathered that firewood. It would be a shame not to make that fire now. Can't feel my feet. Yeah, you're not going to let me make it there. I, I figured. Can we get a wind block, maybe? wind is coming from this side. Um, let's see what's over this way. This looks like an intriguing little alcove here. I feel like that deer must not have been here last time. Or I would have... would have skinned it. Or gutted it and harvested it. Alan's Cave. Not really a whole lot going on here. But it's a good wind block. I like that. Let's get our fire going. No, not there. Is this a wind block here? Good. Let's do the fire right here. 80% chance of success. We got this in the bag. No problem. Got a nice wind block. And we'll cook all this meat and get its quality stabilized. The rabbit's already rancid. I don't want to put off making this fire for any longer and run into a situation where I can't make a fire for whatever reason. And then it goes bad. So wasteful. Trying not to be wasteful. Okay, one hour. Let's just start cooking the rabbit. We'll see where we get. Okay, looks like maybe 10 minutes per rabbit, maybe. Maybe a little more. More like, uh, eh, 15. Look at that, no sweat. Throw a fur log on a fire, boom, it's good. Yeah, we're going to cook the venison, too. 
Oh, look, I saw a rose hip on the list. Oh, man, I didn't even notice that at first. Look. Rose hip. 100%. Interesting. I'm not sure why it's there now and it wasn't earlier. I don't really need any right now, though. I'll tell you what I could use is some coffee. I'm going to go ahead and make some of that. Get our uh, energy taken care of. All right. So let's start with the coffee. Uh, I'm sure I went right by it. Uh, we'll just go to food. That makes it so much easier. All right. Coffee, get our hydration up, and then we're going to eat some of this rabbit. It's not very much, but we want to eat it up. Yep, 238 calories, better than nothing. We'll crunch on a few cattail stalks. There you go, some gamey rabbit. Yeah, we'll do 500 more calories. Why not? Sounds good to me. And we're warm. We're feeling good. Excellent. I think we can leave the cave. So now that area up there where those cliffs are, that's where I was uh, dancing and messing around with while I was trying to get back to the prepper's cache was up there in that area because I've come through here before that means that deer wasn't here last time which means wolves moved through here so I need to be on my toes torch primed and ready but I came through here once before I'm pretty sure Felt like I would have found more, but I suppose not. Bunch of like mountains and awkward cliffs and such. But there's the bridge. There's really just the, not that much left. Well, well. The options are. Uh, I think at this point, we spent the time coming this way, but I think we should press. The The thing of it is, is that the, the fish is back at the camp office, the lake camp office, so. Oh yeah, see, this is northern access. Whoa! thought he was going to charge me. Pretty sure I've collected off of this guy. Empty. Yeah, because these should be the railroad tracks right over there. Yep. All right. So now that we know where we are. Oh, look at that. Coffee's got us warmed right up. Feels like 7C. Um, we're going to go. We're going to go see where the other side of the dam leads to. I don't know which direction I want to go. I'm assuming I'm assuming they all continue on, but I'm I'm not 100%, but so far the areas that seemed like they continued and left this zone were uh, one path leaving the other side of the hydroelectric plant and then two paths in the ravine, one where a tree crossed the gorge and one where you took a rope down to the bottom. And I'm assuming, could be false, but I'm assuming those both take you out of this area. Okay. So we've drawn the attention of a wolf. So we're just going to pick up the pace a little bit. No harm in that. No harm in that at all. We're good with a little bit of running. That's why we drank our coffee. Our pack isn't even that heavy. We've done well to manage our inventory thus far. Look at that. Doing well. We still have food we can eat to burn more. Okay. Let's go ahead and 
Break out that torch. Um, no, we're not gonna... No, let's not use the torch yet, actually. Okay, yeah, no, I'm gonna need a torch. Um, yeah, we'll use a match, that's fine. Alright. So if I remember, I just need to follow this path here. Until it opens up into a couple of rooms. And then... Oh no, that's right, there's a door. Okay, so I have to take the door to the lower part of the dam. That's right. I don't want to leave this torch burning too long. But I didn't want to bring a lamp, so we'll uh, we'll make do. So we'll go down here to the lower part of the dam. Oh, we've still got quite a bit of duration on our torch. We'll be okay. We can always make more, I'm sure. Right, so it is this door here. Yep, sure enough. This is the door that almost got us. Well, it did get us, but was able to able to find the other direction. No, we're not throwing it down. What? What is the matter with you? We're putting it out. There we go. Yes, yeah, so we can't go back in that way, but that's fine. We don't want to this time, not right away. We're going to go explore this path. Because I could tell that this was a path. And I just wasn't ready to come out this way earlier, but... I want to see where this goes. Because these power lines here... These power lines are a major line of communication. And that's why the ravine was interesting with the railroad, but... I'm more curious to see where these power lines are running. And this path at least kind of heads in that direction, because you can see they jump over... Uh, and they span that pass there, and they end up over this way. So I'm not sure how much this goes back over here. Oh, this is a whole area. Okay, seven hours of daylight left. We're doing all right. I'm just going to keep following this path down. Oh, a deer. I'm not sure if I can get up on that. Oh, I can, maybe. Maybe, yes. Excellent. Is that a rabbit, or... That's not running like a wolf, and it looks big to be a rabbit. I sure hope that's not like a baby bear or something goofy. That would just... That would beat all. All right, 15 minutes well spent. Again, to get the meat, always, and the guts... I personally think 18 minutes is a worthwhile investment. The hide, though, is going to be a f 27 minutes. That's not... No, but we don't need it. We don't really need it yet. Yeah, that looks like a rabbit now that it gets closer. Just a big rabbit. I hate to get comfortable and feeling like I don't need the hide. But I can just leave it, and it's whatever. But it's, you know, it's half an hour, and... It weighs a significant amount. It's just not what we're doing right now. And we're trying to stay on task here. I'm not sure what this is all about. Hmm. See where this goes. So it looks like this path splits a couple different ways. I can go back up the cliff. And I can go up there, or I can stay on this river. Following these power lines. Alright, well I just wanted to explore both both paths, but now I'm, I'm actually at a little bit of a dilemma. Do I follow this path and explore this? See where the, the river and the power lines go? Or do I go back to the ravine? Take the tree across the top of the ravine and see where that goes? Not, these, these little side paths, they don't seem to amount to much. Oh, wait a minute. No, hold on. This one, this one goes a little further up here. I'm not sure... This looks like it's kind of going to dead end and just waste my time. Or connect to some elevated path. Hmm. 
feels like it's wasting my time. Well. Oh, wait, there's something up here. Oh, no, that's the deer from the... Okay. So it's perhaps that this is the way they expected you to, to come up here and get the deer. I could check over there and see what's over there. Oh, let's do that. I feel like we have to, to do it justice. We have to check both sides. What if there's something really spiffy over there? What if there's another prepper's cache? Because now I'm thinking, man, I don't know how many prepper's caches there are. But as good as they are, I'm on the lookout now. I'm paying attention. If it looks like an out-of-the-way place with nothing there, I'm thinking, hmm, you're saying there's a chance. Oh my. This whole tree got pulled over. Well, what do we got? Looks like a whole lot of nothing. Hmm. Well, well, well. And it comes to the decision point. Do I head to the ravine? I'm close enough. I haven't gone that far yet. This is the point to make that call. Do I follow the frozen river? I think we're going to go check out the ravine. I think that's going to be the right call. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, the ravine is a little more exciting. Uh, and I'm not going to climb down to the bottom of it. I could, but I feel like sitting in these low areas is safe. And it's nice because, you know, it blocks the wind. And But I, I don't know. It. I, want, I feel like the high up vantage points are going to give me the ability to see where I'm going and where I want to be going and plan ahead more. And I don't know. I like the idea of crossing the ravine with a tree to see where the railroad tracks on the other side went. So that's what we're going to do. But we're going to do that next episode. This is the end of episode 27 of The Long Dark. Thank you so much for joining me. Ugh, if I can get back up now. What's going on here? Better step. Trying to make this treacherous for me. Oh my. Anyways, interrupted my ending. I hope you had fun, because I know I did. So we'll see you next time. But until then, take care. <laughs>